<laughs> hey y'all, it's Michael from Happy Bear Cooking. Um, so, we're going to give this little GoPro uh, cooking thing a try. And um, I think the first thing that we're going to do is like a ginger and scallion uh, kind of ramen noodle. It's a great meal to cook uh, on a busy night. It's not too long. It's pretty simple. Um, it's very delicious. It's one of Stephanie and I's favorite, but, uh, it's really easy to customize and we'll kind of, uh, work our way through it. So let's get into this. All right. So let's get this adjusted a little bit. What I have tonight is I got these nice little snap peas. Um, I got roughly about like two and a half cups. Uh, we have a bunch of them in our fridge, so that's what I'm going to use. You can replace this with like broccoli, cabbage, zucchini, pretty much any like kind of green vegetable that you want to use. Um, I also have eight ounces of portobello mushrooms. Um, we got one in like a half bunches of green onions. Um, four cloves of garlic and about this much ginger. Um, I might not use all of this because cutting ginger is a little bit of a pain in the neck, uh, but um, I'm just gonna use some of this. I have also some sesame seeds right here that I toasted. Um, if you can buy toasted sesame seeds, do it. If you wanna toast them yourself, uh, I'll show you all later how to do this. I have Black vinegar, um, if y'all want, pick this up. This is one of my favorite vinegars, but if you don't have black vinegar, you can replace it with a rice wine vinegar. Um, I also have soy sauce right here. This is a dark soy, but regular soy sauce will work. I like dark soy, it's a little thicker, it coats a little bit better. I also have some neutral oil right here. This is canola oil. I have a little bit of sugar, some ramen noodles, um, and some chili oil that I made. Uh, Y'all, I think you can buy, oh, I also need to get that out. You can buy chili oil at Whole Foods that is vegan. It's right here. Um, this would also work and you can buy it from Whole Foods. Get a little closer there for you. Um, a little bit of toasted sesame oil and that's gonna be it as far as ingredients um, also a little bit of salt so let's get cooking um, so I'm gonna start with my least favorite thing first which is probably uh, dealing with all this ginger it's quite a bit to deal with if you want, you can go ahead and just buy uh, minced ginger or pureed ginger. It'll work. Um, I just got regular ginger because it it's just what I do. I don't even know anymore, y'all. Um, and as you can tell, I'm just taking the skin off with a spoon and dropping it in the sink. Um, but once we get the skin off, we're going to start cutting it up. So we're going to mince this up pretty fine and mix it with a little bit of garlic. Um, yeah. So uh, maybe we'll speed this up. Maybe we won't. Y'all will be able to find out if we do or not. Uh, if we get fancy and start editing this uh, all nice like. But for right now, we're just going to listen to me ramble and talk to y'all about uh, just life. Uh, I guess just with this whole entire quarantine thing, I've been cooking a lot more. Um... Stephanie and I haven't really eaten out that much. We've just been cooking and 
feel like I've gotten a little bit better at cooking. Um, I've been enjoying it. Uh, it's been nice. I've gotten to do a lot of projects that I've been putting off that are uh, a little bit more time intensive. Um, so it's been nice. I've actually been enjoying this whole entire quarantine. Um, so with ginger, when I'm dicing anything up, I want to like cut it into little planks or slivers and then cut it into matchsticks and then cut it into cubes. So I'm going to start by cutting this down like this. into these little uh, planks. And then I'm gonna come back through. I'm gonna kinda line them up easier for me. I'm gonna come back through and then I'm gonna cut them into these little matchsticks. And now I'm gonna come back and cube them and I feel like that's the most efficient way to get this into this nice small fine dice without having to like sit there and keep running over it which I I'm not gonna lie there are some chunks in there that are bigger than I like but we'll get back to that in a second I'm gonna go ahead and cut the rest of this and Hold on, let me turn this down a little bit. What I like to do when I'm cutting this is I like to find a side that's stable. As you can tell right here, this isn't super stable. So I'm gonna go ahead and move it to this flat side where it doesn't rock as much. That way I feel a little bit more comfortable cutting it and I don't have to worry about my knife slipping and me losing a finger. So that's a, a pretty good trick rule thing to follow all right and then I missed those two pieces so and then I got this last piece I'm gonna... and like I said I'm just a sucker for like fresh ginger so that's why I buy it fresh there's no reason why you can't just buy already like minced up ginger it makes life a lot easier especially if you're like cooking this for a like weeknight meal it will save you quite a bit of time um as you can see it it's taken me a minute to do this the other option is you can cut this into like little small pieces and run it through a food processor with the garlic that we're about to mince up um, but like I said, I don't feel like washing my food processor, so I'm just going to go ahead and do this all by hand. Um, I try to cut back on how many dishes I have to do at the end of every night. Um, and if you just use your knife and give it a good smack, the skin should be pretty easy to get off. And if y'all are wondering, this right here is my little stock um, cup. I keep these and every week I'll come back through and I'll make a big batch of veggie stock. So I always have some on hand. Um, I do a lot of Asian style cooking. So I put a lot of green onion, a lot of ginger and garlic and mushrooms in there. 
and kind of have it suit it to uh, the flavor profile that I really enjoy. So maybe I'll do a video on making stock, which it's super easy and one of my favorite things to do. Um, if you have a little bit of time and you're going through as much veggies as I am, there's no reason to not make your own stock. And so I'm going to just chop this garlic up fine. And once it starts getting to about the size of the ginger, I'm gonna mix them in together and kind of chop them a little bit more, get them to where they kind of combine. All right, that looks about good. So I'm gonna take these and run my knife through them a few times, get them all nice, kind of small, get any pieces that I might've missed on the first couple runs through. good put that there and let me get a bowl out and let me get a bench scraper out Ooh, woo, woo. <laughs> all right well that was a uh, a little exciting I usually don't have this much stuff on my counters when I'm working because I uh, usually don't need to have everything out for everybody to see. But, you know, when in Rome. So we're gonna dump this in here. And as you can tell right now, I'm putting this into a metal bowl. Um, for this recipe, you're gonna need a heat safe bowl so metal pyrex um don't do this in a plastic bowl like y'all just just don't it's a bad idea um yeah that's little pinto right there it's not that little anymore um so i'm gonna fill up this pot with some oil I'm probably going to go for about like three-fourths of a cup. And I'm going to put this over here on this burner. I have my hot water going for my noodles as well. I have it on a low heat, so it's not really doing too much right now. I'm going to put this oil on medium heat and... I'm gonna say, hey Google, set a five minute timer. I'm gonna let it go for about five minutes, get it warmed up. Um, and that way it can get nice and hot, but not smoking. We want it where it's nice and boily or shimmery, but not smoking. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the little tips of my green onions put that in the stock and if you're comfortable with it you can do all these at once if you're not cut them one at a time but just slice them up nice and thin let me get these out let me get this one out too So 
So I'm gonna take all the whites, which is the bottom part, and you know, I'm probably gonna do most of the greens too. I'm gonna do all those. I'm gonna leave those little greens to put in in a minute. Um, I actually don't want those sesame seeds in there because they're probably gonna burn, so. Um, I got all my whites and a little bit of my greens. I reserved just a little bit of the uh, greens for after it cools down the hair. And I'm going to throw these in here. So give me a second. Um, I don't know if this is working right now. Oh. All right, so it was working, we're good. Just had to take a quick little pause. I'm gonna cut up the rest of these green onions. And we'll leave those right there for a minute. Um, Let's make a little bit of the sauce. So for this, we're gonna want two tablespoons of soy. And like I said, I'm using dark soy. Um, that's just like one of my favorites. Uh, this is the brand I always get, Lee Kum Ki. Um, I can pick it up at, if you're local in Little Rock, you can get it at Mr. Chin's on South University. You can get it at Kay's Oriental um, over by Whole Foods. Um, Black Vinegar, I can't even pronounce the other uh, name for it. I believe I got this at Mr. Chin's. Um, I'm gonna put, a tablespoon of that in. Hey Google, stop. And then one tablespoon of toasted sesame oil. And a half a teaspoon of sugar. Let's see. That's it. So let's go check out our oil. So it's getting a little shimmery. Um, I still want it to go a little bit longer, so I'm gonna let it go. Um, Stephanie is right here, turning on the fan for me and the light. Uh, so with the water, I didn't salt my, new, or salt my water. Um, this recipe already has a good amount of uh, sodium in it, so I didn't really care to uh, add any more. So we can kind of fine tune it. Usually if I'm cooking like pasta or anything, I will salt my water, but this one we're gonna leave unsalted. Um, I'm gonna move this over here. Also, I'm gonna cook most of my vegetables in my wok. Uh, Shout out to Hannah and Morgan for giving me this awesome wok. I just seasoned it last night. It's super beautiful and I'm literally trying to cook everything in it. Um, if you don't have a wok, a large saute skillet will be fine. Um, but like I said, I'm trying to use this thing. All right, let's put some stuff up. I'll put you down there. I'm gonna put you back up there. I don't need you either. Ooh, we'll see about that. I'm gonna put that up there. You're right, fine right there. And let's do a quick clean up. I'm actually gonna put these 
green onions in with the sauce because we'll mix them in at the same time. And what I'm gonna do now is I take out my stems uh, so I can just use them in stock. If you wanna keep your mushroom stems in, more power to you. There's nothing wrong with them. I love eating them. Um, I just, I really buff up my stock, so. All right, so let's look at this oil. I'm gonna turn it up just a little bit to like medium high heat. I'm gonna give it another minute. Um, probably about when I'm done cooking these mushrooms, I, or not cooking them, cutting them, I will go ahead and continue on with the next step with that, what we're doing with that oil. There we go, those are good. All right, we're about ready to go with that. So let me grab out a spoon. I'm gonna go ahead and pour this over the top of this. And that's why I was telling y'all, you need to use a heat proof bowl because if you don't, you're gonna melt some plastic. And so I'm gonna mix this up a little bit. It's gonna kind of cook this down. It should smell pretty fragrant. It should smell pretty good. Ooh, yeah, that smells great. So we're gonna let that cool down for a few minutes and then we're gonna add the rest of the stuff in. My noodles are ready to go. I'm going to, do, let's see, do two of these. Y'all, if you want, you can straight up go ahead and use like top ramen noodles. Uh, they work perfectly fine. They probably will cook easier than these will. Um, just don't use the packages that come with it. Let's see. Let me get these little sleeves off. All right, here we go. Hey Google, set four minute timer. Four minutes. All right, now. Um, all right. Let me just give these a nice little stir. That's hot. All right, noodles are cooking. This is cooling. I'm gonna put this on a nice dry cooking towel. All right, put that over. I'm gonna go ahead and fire this thing up on high heat. All right. All right. We're doing good, it's looking good, feeling good, ready to go. Stephanie, tell everybody what's up. Don't put me on this. <sighs> All right. So I'm gonna leave this for a couple minutes to get nice and hot. Um, with the wok, you can get like a really good, nice char on the veggies that you're cooking. So that's why I have a little bit of a preference towards it. Um, 
I'll show you. We'll get a nice good sear on there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and scoot stuff down now a little bit more. Well, I'll move these. The pan's smoking, that's a good sign. I'm gonna come back in with more of my neutral oil, my canola oil. I'm gonna roll it around the outside. That's nice and hot. I'm gonna go ahead and throw my mushrooms in. And we're gonna cook these until they're looking nice and finished uh probably about like three minutes i'm gonna add just a pinch of salt in there yeah i should probably get a bowl to finish this into Noodles are looking good. Oh, let's see. Need just a little bit more time on those. My pan's looking a little dry. I'm gonna add just a little bit more oil in there. Noodles are done. All right, I'm gonna pull them off, dump them. Come back, give this a quick stir. Hey Google, stop. I'm gonna run just a little bit of cold water over these so they don't overcook. Just enough to kind of cut off the steam. And as you can tell, the mushrooms are releasing liquid, which is good. That looks about good for me. All right, get that last one in. I did mushrooms first because I don't want a whole lot of color on them. I'm gonna put my pan back on. It's already hot, but it's gonna be easier to heat fully back up. Um, and I'm gonna do my peas next because those I do want color on. So I want the pan to be at its hottest. All right, go in, a little oil. And here we go with the peas. I'm not gonna move them too much in the beginning because like I said, I wanna get color on these. So I'm gonna let those go. Um, so this is now cooled down. It's not cool though, it's still pretty warm. I'm gonna go ahead and throw my soy sauce mixture in there. I'm gonna stir it up real fast. Get all that sugar that's probably collected at the bottom and then pour it in here. This is gonna help cool it down a little bit more too. Give that a nice stir. Oh, got a little bit on me, but it's all good. Give it a taste. Oh yeah, that's, that's it. And as you can tell, I got some nice color on those. Those are gonna be great. Woo! Let's see. Also, big shout out to Rolling Hill Pottery for making us these awesome plates. Um, we love them, we use them all the time. He's great at what he does. Um, he's actually in the process of making me a miso crock because man, that's just one of the things that I've wanted to do for a while. Um, if you know me at all, miso is one of my favorite things to cook with. So, 
super excited to have some that I can make at home. Oh yeah, those are looking good. We're gonna give them a few more minutes. I'm gonna go ahead, take my noodles, put them in there. Bring that back over here. Don't need you anymore. Still need you, still need you, don't need you. Don't need you. All right, those look good. I'm gonna go ahead, dump those in, kill the heat, put that back over there. And y'all, that's pretty much it right now. I'm gonna plate it up for y'all, make it look nice. But outside of that, we've uh, pretty much have done everything we need to. I'm not gonna put all of this in there, but I'll put most of it. Let me get a better pair of tongs. Actually, um, sorry y'all, we just moved and I don't know where most of my favorite tools are anymore. So, uh, guess we'll just do it with these tongs. I know it sounds dumb, like I just had a pair of tongs, but I have a favorite pair of tongs and they work a little bit better. So I'm a pretty big fan of Nori. Stephanie, on the other hand, is not. So um, when we're talking, I have a little bit of Nori that I used for lunch today. So I'm gonna pull one of these guys out. This is optional. This is just like, if you have it, do it. If you don't, no big deal. I'm gonna just cut up a little bit of this nori to little strips. Ooh. I'm gonna take some of my toasted sesame seeds, sprinkle it on top. This will give it a nice little toastiness. Also help kind of reinforce that uh, toasted sesame oil that we use inside the sauce. I'll do a recipe for this chili oil at some point. Um, it's pretty easy. It takes a little bit of time, but it's nice and spicy. Just get a little bit of this, drizzle it over the top. So I'm going to take this one, put my little nori flakes over the top. Let me go grab Stephanie. What's up Pinto? And get her to eat. I'm going to go ahead and show y'all our little garden. We got a bunch of stuff coming in. We have did this during uh, COVID. We got some broccoli, which is about to come out. We got little bell peppers. If you look right here, we got one growing right there. Another one right there. Um, I believe these are more peppers, got tomatoes, cauliflower back there, some greens. We've used a lot of those. Our friends gifted us uh, some peppers right there. Squash, eggplant, jalapenos, and then all of these are tomatoes. So we'll be cooking with those a lot. Also, I got these guys right here. 
which are pinto beans. Super excited about those. And then we got a few herbs over around in here. All right, Pinto, come on. So, um, like I said, it's a pretty easy recipe. It's fun. It's nice for a weeknight dinner. Um, making a double batch, I mean, wouldn't be too much more work. Uh, as you can tell, I had some of my uh, sauce left over. And yeah, I think it's super tasty and delicious. Let's get the little Stephanie, little SPP reaction. You want a fork? I guess. Is it hot? I mean, yeah, it's a little spicy. Yes. yes. We got, we got praying. I can only do one hand because I can't do praying hands with a GoPro in my hand. We got praying hands. So that's a sign of approval, y'all. Um, please let me know what y'all think about this recipe. Give me any feedback. I'm literally just throwing stuff at the wall right now. Let me know what y'all want to see. Let me know what y'all want to know. Um, if y'all like this, maybe this might be a regular thing and we can start doing this more often. Um, just, yeah, give me some feedback. I'd love to hear it. Thank you guys. Uh, I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye.